Welcome to my channel, Pleiadian Mistake. Um, thank you for joining me. So I just run through a few things with my readings. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They can apply to you at any given moment. Um, I'm going to spread that out a little bit more. Um, they are energy readings. So just take the time to read my um, description box. If you'd like to book a personal reading, um, the link is in the description box below. Um, these are you versus them scenarios. Um, they're general readings. So not every message will always resonate. But if you've been guided or attracted to what's your title um, by spirit or your spirit guides, that's your spirit guides, um, you know, leading you to this because it might have a message in it for you that you need to hear at the, this given moment in time. So um, take only the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. So let's get started, Aries, on you. So what is currently happening in your life? So there's you and another person. Okay, we have the antelope spirit. And what's the other person's energy? Time to let go. All right, so Aries, you are presenting as the antelope spirit and I feel like you are moving fastly towards somebody who's actually in the groundhog spirit, who's let go of things. Now, the groundhog spirit to me is, um, you know, like Groundhog Day, you know, um, that movie, it comes, it's about like, you know, Groundhog Day, everything just repeating 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 patterns so i feel like this person that you're dealing with who is the groundhog um they were kind of in a little bit of a cycle with love see how they're holding this heart and this person would repeat the same patterns um and i feel like for a really long time you and this groundhog you guys um were in a connection and it was just really stagnant and stuck because this groundhog kind of didn't really move and they didn't really ask for much of you so you kind of didn't really move either and what I'm sensing now is this person has decided to let the connection go they've embodied the groundhog energy and groundhogs um, you know they let go of repeat patterns and they let go of karmic cycles. So I feel like this person has learnt to let go of a repeating pattern in their life. They're the groundhog and they are just scurrying to um, towards a better future and forced to me about foundations. So I do feel like this person letting you go has triggered you now, Aries, to want to make sure that they don't leave. <laughs> Uh, it's a little bit bittersweet because it's like as soon as someone lets you go, you realize how much they mean to you and it triggers you to take action. Whereas before, while this person was there, they weren't really saying or doing much, you kind of might have taken them for granted is what's coming through. Um, so the energies that I'm getting here is this little groundhog. They might have your heart because they're holding this heart here. They might have their your heart in the palm of their hands without really no like realizing, and because of the deep deep emotions that I think you're feeling, Aries, you're embodying the antelope, and you're going to chase after this person and speak truth to them, um, try and figure out what they're feeling, um, because I feel like you're ready for a partnership and a commitment. And I feel like this person just wants a stable foundation. And maybe in the past you weren't ready, Aries. I, I'm sensing you weren't ready in the past. And now you, you are ready. So you're ready to talk to this person. And because, you know, this person can only, the groundhog is only going on, you know, what has previously happened and what they've seen from you. They've decided, you know, not to pressure you, but just to let you go and to create a new foundation elsewhere. So let's get a little bit more on the situation. <clears throat> Poised. Okay. Hmm, interesting. So I feel like you were entertaining other connections here. I'm just going to take that over to the side. So... This is your energy, um, Aries. All that glitters isn't gold. So 
what I'm getting from this is you had a little bit of spiritual work to do on yourself in terms of connections and partnerships with others. And I'm sensing um, that you had to come to a realization that all that glitters isn't gold. And I feel like maybe you were going after shiny new things a lot. Yeah, beauty. Okay. This is a little bit about lust. So I feel like you were drawn and attracted to other people because we have twos here. Um, you know, that were quite appealing and tra attractive on the outside. Um, and you've gone through a lot of lessons here that people all wear masks, regardless of their external appearance. Um, what lies underneath the masks isn't always gold. So I feel like the other person you're connecting with here, um, the a groundhog, they have a beautiful heart because they're holding your heart. Um, they're holding your heart in their hand and they haven't destroyed it. They haven't hurt you. They haven't, you know, damaged you. I think maybe um, you and this person connected on the heart level. And what I'm getting here is um, you decided to walk away from that and explore other options because they might have been more physically or aesthetically appealing to you. They might have been attractive. They might have been, um, you know, very physically sexually desiring and you went and you explored those options but you realized these people might be beautiful on the outside but they didn't have the heart that your groundhog has your groundhog has a beautiful heart and soul beautiful spirit um but because it took you so long to realize this your groundhog has let you go and what i'm sensing from this is you've you've realized now through these spiritual lessons what you want and you want your groundhog but your groundhog is like a little bit of a fairy and they've just played it cool. They've been poised. They haven't really, um, you know, expressed to you that had, had dissatisfied they were or discontent they were with the situation um, until now. Yeah. So this groundhog was the true path. They were the one that you were supposed to be with. And they waited and waited and waited for you, I feel, for you to join them on this journey and this path. They um, didn't really create too much drama over it. They just remained poised. They didn't really talk to you about their feelings and um, depth of how they felt and how you had the heart. Like, I'm getting two messages from this. You had my heart. Like, we'll never be worlds apart. That's what's coming through. Umbrella. You can stand under my umbrella like this person and you have a, a special connection where it's like, um, you had my heart, we'll never be worlds apart. You know, that's the kind of deepness of this connection. And you held their heart in your hand and they hold your heart in their hand and they just played it cool and waited for you to realize and want to join them on the true path. But what I'm getting from this is you kind of went off into other connections that were more superficial, um, physical connections, maybe um, sexual connections, because um, you didn't, you weren't ready to invest emotionally, I think, at the depth of this type of connection. As a result, no, though now you've lost this person, they've let you go and you um, are wanting to come back because you realize what's truly important. So let's see what else I can get for you guys in terms of the connection and is all, all hope lost. What's the connective energy between the two of you? Oh, soulmates. How cute. So the two of you guys, like I was saying, you're connected at the heart level. You're soulmates. Um, you know, there's a beautiful, loyal heart connection here. You have the key to each other's heart. So what's coming through here is loyalty deep, deep loyalty for each other at a heart level. Um, but I feel like maybe that wasn't previously expressed because the both of you were just playing it cool. You're remaining poised and you were remaining poised by chasing after um, other connections that, you know, weren't this deep, you know, these weren't that weren't soulmate connections. They were just superficial, beautiful people. And you've realized all that glitters isn't gold and you can't, you don't have um, a deep connection with anybody else the way you do with your groundhog. Um, let's get another clarifying card though to see what else we can get here. Attraction. Yeah, so I feel like you and this person have um, a deep, a deep connection that is um, emotionally nourishing, physically, you know, appealing. 
um, heart level attraction. So I feel like this person ticks every single box. Um, whereas with other people, you know, I mean, like with other people, it was just physical. This person, you you care about deeply. They um they make you laugh. There's a lot of happiness and laughter here. You know, they they're like just your best friend that you can just be yourself around. And there's a lot of um deep attraction in this connection. And I'm I'm getting like you are each other's world really like you look at each other like you know um you guys you guys are the only two people in the entire world like it's you and I'm getting you and me against the world that's what I'm getting and you know it's a beautiful connection so let's get two more animal cards to see what else I can get for you guys so I feel like that was a past energy of letting go and I feel like what's going to come through now is like the current energy <laughs> this card's been coming out in a lot of readings. Okay. All right. So the two of you are embodying the um, the bear and the chameleon. So um, I'm getting that you are the bear, Aries. You're taking time out. Um. And, um, what am I getting? Actually, no, I'm getting, I'm getting the groundhog is the bear. Sorry. So the bear is the groundhog and you Aries are the chameleon. So I feel like because you were, were trying to fit in with certain groups of people, you went after these superficial connections and you acted as if you didn't care about this, um, connection over here. Um, you were influenced by friends and other other people to go after things because you wanted to impress the boys is kind of the energy that's coming through or the or your friends or there's a, there's a lot of ego and pride involved in this and you didn't feel like this connection was that impressive to your friends and I feel like you might have just gone along with the group because they told you that you know uh, you know, you're single, enjoy it. Um, and you just acted as if you were totally fine and not phased by what was happening over here. But you're soulmates, so you were very connected on a deep level. Um, I do sense that this is a connective energy. The two of you have taken time out to think about how you feel about each other. And I'll just get the other person's spirit animal now. Yeah, this person. You really hurt this person. So um, the groundhog is taking time to heal right now from what's transpired because you, Mr. Chameleon, really hurt this person um, and you chose other people over them. All that glitters isn't gold. You chose beautiful, superficial people um, to connect with, with and invest your time in instead of the soulmate who was, you know, holding your heart and you know tending to it and appreciating it um, and because of that you've really hurt this person so the snake to me is some it's coming through like this person's energy isn't snake like this person's energy is just like they're being bitten by a snake so you acted like this snake group of people. I feel like you, you've hung out with a group of people, Aries, that were very snake-like. They were very slippery, slimy type people. And I feel like you were being a chameleon and acting like this group. And as a result, you have bitten yourself and this other person who's your true soulmate. And you've really hurt them. And this caused them to let go. But as a result of this energy of you just trying to fit in with the crowd because you care too much about what other people think. Um, we've gone and got the, you know, antelope spirit now, because you know this person's your soulmate. You know these other connections aren't for you. You know that all that glitters isn't gold and beauty isn't what's important in life. And now you want to come back to this person and speak your truth. So um, see if I can get a little bit more for you. And see what Spirit's advice is here with this particular dynamic. Reach for the stars. It came out in reverse. So I feel like you were settling for less than you deserve because you just um, decided to go after superficial connections. You basically settled for something else or someone else because you were just trying to fit in with a group of people. Yep. 
and you created a lot of problems. They both came out in reverse. So imagine solutions reversed and reach for the stars of reverse. So instead of um, imagining a solution and reaching for the stars, like I feel like this person was your world. It was that they were a dream come true, but you just didn't go after it. They were your soulmate, you know, and maybe you felt like this person was too good for you. But they were your true path and you weren't reaching for the stars. Spirit is coming through and saying, you know, there was a attraction here, chemistry, a soulmate connection, yet you chose to ignore it because you were going after superficial things. Um, and now you've created all these problems and you haven't, you haven't, like, you haven't um, created a solution for this situation. And as a result, of not being your true self, not expressing your true feelings, you have really, really hurt this other person and you're both in time healing and you're both taking the time right now to heal the situation. So basically, Spirit is saying, reach for the stars, um, imagine a solution for this problem and make it better, Aries. That's what's coming through. And you definitely have the desire to because you're in the antelope energy. All right. So I'm going to get one more card for you. See what else the advice is here. All the universe has my back. So I feel like you need to be more trusting in the universe because this connection and person, you manifested them into your life. Um, you may not have thought you were ready but when are we ever ready for these things in our lives the universe you were asking you were hoping you were wishing for a true love connection and you manifested this person into your life yet you um you basically pushed them away because of other people other factors so this is a true soulmate connection and you ran away from it um you hurt them and now you know, and now I feel like you've created a lot of problems. We have imagined solutions in reverse. Um, but the universe is saying, reach for the stars, figure out a solution. The universe has your back. You manifested this connection for a reason. This person has let you go because all you did was create problems for yourself. So it's time to go after what it is you truly deserve and follow your heart. Okay, so I'm going to take... This is a true path for you as well, is what they want to say. I'm going to take this over to the extended to find out what the advice is for you, Leo. I mean, sorry, Aries. Um, but all the best moving forward if this is resonating with you. Imagine solutions, reach for the stars. The universe has your back. This is your true soulmate. This is the path. It's a time to heal the situation. All right, bye.